Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, David M. coming at you here with another video. Uh, today is a hockey video. Uh, I'm going to do just a quick recap of the fantasy season that was. And um, since the playoffs have started, i got a few pickups I want to show. Um, not these. These three are for the recap. But uh, anyway, we'll get through the, um, through the fantasy portion pretty quick because I know no one really cares. But... Um, uh, but I will say this, the playoffs, they've been great so far. We're only a couple days into it. Uh, as I film this, it's intermission, first intermission of the Preds game. Uh, game two, Vancouver's leading the series, one nothing. But uh, the Preds are up in this one, so let's hope they hang on. Anyway, uh, let's move on to a recap of, the, of my fantasy hockey season. So I was in four leagues. Uh, the first one I'll, I'll tell you about real quick was a, uh, a season a total season points league, which I've never done before in any sport. And uh, I didn't realize until several months into it that there was a cap on the uh, the number of games you could play. So I knew it was that way in Roto, but I've never, I didn't know it was that way in season long points league. So bottom line is I ran out of games with several weeks to go in the season. And so I got to watch two people pass me by. So I finished third in that one, but lesson learned for next year. And then I was in two head-to-head -head points leagues, uh, one of which I won. I was thrilled with that. Had a very good team. Uh, it was very, very tight going into the last day of that particular fantasy season, which also coincided with the last day of the regular season, which, by the way, I hate. If you're running a fantasy hockey league or really any league or any sport, don't let it in at the same time as the regular season. Make it a couple weeks early. Shout out to my good buddy Clint Swingway Sports for doing just that in our league. Uh, but it, it should never end uh, at the same time as the season because people sit out, people rest. It just, it sucks when that happens. But anyway, we went into the last day uh, and I, I, I snapshotted a picture to my text group. I think it was less than a point separated us. Uh, my team ended up winning, so that was great. So that was one win. The other one in the head-to-head -head points league that I was talking about in Clint's league that was the supremely disappointing one because my team that leaves, um, that's right, leaves, because by God, that's proper grammar where I'm from, but really it's just a mess with uh, my good buddy Walter, Plaka de Cards. Uh, but what, they were just a dominant monster team all year and then ran into the buzzsaw that was Travis N.W. Stang uh, in the playoffs in the championship round. And man, did he sweep my leg. It was, again, we went into the last day separated by like a point, maybe less than a point. But he ended up beating me by like 20 or 30 points. It was insane. So a big shout out to him. Congrats, Travis. That one stung because that's the one I really wanted to win the most. But I was also in a Roto League. And the Roto League, the Hosers, we won that one. Um, shout out to Walter there. He came in second. It was close all year long. But uh, anyway, they won. My best performers, I know not the most popular guy, but I had this guy, Brady Kachuk. Uh, he was my most owned player. I think I had him on all four teams. So there's just his young guns there. He did a, a fantastic job for me. That's just odd. I've shown these before, but just a little recap there. Then JT Miller was my next most owned player. I had him everywhere. Really like him. He's one of my favorite players um, to watch. Now, I'm not rooting for him at the moment because we're taking on the Preds, but um, there's JT Miller. And I have more Millers to show that I'll do in my next video. Um, and then finally, Miko Rantanen was also a hoser um, and a really huge contributor there all year long. So there's three of the standouts from the hosers. Now, there was another standout on the team whose card I'm about to show next. So I'm going to take these down and show these next three. Now, same three cards, one player. First of all, <laughs> on that Hoser team, I uh, in the draft, I had Mitch Marner, I had Willie Nylander, and I had the man, Austin Matthews, and his 69 goals. So what I'm about to show is a few uh, pickups of his that are basically... These aren't young guns, because I could never afford that, but cheap rookies, right? So we'll start off with this one, which is really cool. Love my Sports Illustrated for kids, man. 
There's the Austin Matthews Sports Illustrated for kids. Um, the funny thing about these cards, I got this for like five bucks, right? But these cards in like a PSA 8 go for a couple hundred. Like, man, if I was some sort of flipper or investor, I'd, you know, buy a bunch of them. I'm not that way. I'm just, I'm glad to own that one. It's a cool image. Like it. Um, actually, I'm going to set this one over here. And then the next one I picked up, a cheap Austin Matthews rookie. This is Park Hurst, just the base rookie and a nine. This was really cheap. Um, added this, I don't know, it's been, it's been a while ago when I added this one. A couple months probably. Just now getting around to show it. But the big one, my favorite edition, I'll bring it front and center. And I hope my camera can do this one justice. From 2016, this is Upper Deck SPX, the Austin Matthews, I guess you'd call that a, a foil or a hollow rookie, and it is numbered. I don't know if you can see that there again. I apologize for my terrible camera work, but there's the number right there, 163 out of 399, just a beautiful, beautiful card. Um, Found a great deal on this one. There weren't too many of these out there for sale. Um, ones that were graded were going for quite a lot of money. This one uh, found for a really great deal um, from a really cool site. I call this the Ram card because that was the number. But anyway, was very happy to add this Austin Matthews um, to the collection. He was uh, another key member of the Hosers. Uh, so uh, anyway... Shout out to all you Leaves fans out there. Of course, I'm kidding around, of course. But anyway, there is a few Austin Matthews rookies to uh, to kick off the um, the playoffs. And ironically, last night, he was the hero in game two and uh, even the Leaves up. So um, onward and upward to those guys. Everyone enjoy the playoffs. My next video, I will show, again, it'll be a little bit more hockey. Actually, I do have one more VR to do uh, for my buddy Pat, Passion and Pat Grad. It's a Mother's Day VR. Um, it's not in time for his contest or anything, but I wanna, I still wanna do the video. So anyway, uh, with that, I hope everyone is doing well. Enjoy the playoffs. We'll catch you next time.